This morning, mounting questions over the royal photo scandal covering the front pages of international tabloids. This as Princess Kate was seen for the first time since it all erupted, leaving Windsor Castle with Prince William Monday on her way to a private appointment. Kate Middleton is currently in the eye of a royal storm. It all started innocently enough with a Mother's Day image, but then it turned into a royal mess faster than you can say tea and crumpets. The photo quickly became a hot potato for the royal family as agencies began pulling it, suspecting some sneaky digital tinkering. Just when things couldn't get more dramatic, footage emerges of Kate and William leaving Windsor Castle. The paparazzi catch them in the back seat, William looking like he's searching for his keys, while Kate stares out the window like like she's in a royal music video. It's a royal ruckus, and the world can't look away. In this video, we will break down the Kate Middleton controversy, the scandal. It all began with weeks of radio silence from the royal family following Kate's planned abdominal surgery in January. The public was left in the dark, eagerly awaiting updates on her well-being. Finally, in early March, Kate broke her silence and made her first public statement since the surgery. As Mother's Day approached in the UK on March 10th, the anticipation grew. It was a day meant to celebrate Mother and everyone wondered how Kate would mark the occasion. And then, it happened. Kate took to the official The Prince and Princess of Wales Instagram account to share a family photo that would soon become the center of a major controversy. The photo was taken by none other than her husband, Prince William. In the caption, Kate expressed her heartfelt gratitude for the support she had received during her recovery and wished everyone a happy Mother's Day. Within hours of the photo being posted, major photo and news agencies, including the Associated Press, Getty Images, Reuters and the AFP began removing the image from their press libraries. The reason? Concerns about potential manipulation. The Associated Press even issued a kill notification, stating that upon closer inspection, it appeared that the image had been altered and no replacement photo would be provided. So how exactly was the photo altered? Observers online were quick to point out potential inconsistencies. One notable discrepancy was the alignment of Princess Charlotte's left hand, which raised eyebrows and fueled speculation. Additionally, the sweater pattern on Prince Louis's shoulder seemed oddly aligned, and a jagged white line near his knee caught the attention of eagle-eyed viewers. Even the zipper on Kate's jacket appeared to be misaligned. And if that wasn't enough, several areas of the photo were blurred, including Kate's hand on Louis's waist, parts of her hair, and the greenery behind Charlotte. Social media exploded with theories and speculation about Kate's months-long absence from public life. The palace had previously announced in mid-January that she was recovering from a planned abdominal surgery at the London Clinic. But now, the public began to question the true reason behind her absence. People are wondering if there's more to Kate's absence than meets the eye. It's a delicate situation for the royal family, especially with the intense scrutiny they face. France's AFP news agency even went so far as to declare that Kensington Palace, the official mouthpiece of the Prince and Princess of Wales, can no longer be considered a trusted source of information. Phil Chetwind, the global news director of AFP, made it clear on BBC Radio 4's media show that the reliability of Kensington Palace as a source is absolutely not to be trusted. CNN has also announced that all previously issued photos by Kensington Palace are now under review. Kate did address the incident. The following day on March 11th, Kate took to Twitter to publicly acknowledge the controversy. In her statement, she revealed that like many amateur photographers, she occasionally experimented with editing. She expressed her apologies for any confusion caused by the family photograph and extended her wishes for a happy Mother's Day to all. According to a source close to Kate, the adjustments made to the photo were minor and were intended to offer an informal picture of the family together on this special day. The source emphasized that the family had indeed spent a wonderful Mother's Day together despite the ensuing controversy. While Kate Middleton addressed the controversy in her public statement, the rest of the royal family remained notably silent on the matter. Prince William, her husband, did not weigh in on the allegations surrounding the photo. Instead, he carried on with his royal duties as usual. Just hours after Kate issued her public apology, Prince William joined Queen Camilla and other members of the royal family at Westminster Abbey for the Commonwealth Day service. It seemed as though the monarchy was determined to maintain a sense of normalcy amidst the storm of speculation. Later that day, Prince William made another public appearance, attending a kickoff celebration for the Earthshot. Prize launch pad. The Prince of Wales showed no signs of being affected by the controversy surrounding the photo. His presence at these events sent a clear message that the royal family was focused on its duties and responsibilities regarding 
regardless of the ongoing scrutiny. As for Kate Middleton, she made a public appearance shortly after addressing the controversy. Photographers captured her and Prince William leaving Windsor Castle in a car. In the image, William can be seen glancing down while Kate looks out the window, away from the camera. It was evident that the couple was heading to a private appointment, perhaps seeking solace and privacy amidst the media frenzy. Shortly after the public appearance of Kate Middleton and Prince William leaving Windsor Castle, the couple became the target of miscreants or overzealous fans. In the aftermath, various GIFs and doctored videos emerged online, portraying Kate as being more active in the car than she appeared in the original photograph. These manipulated images and videos created a false narrative, suggesting that Kate was engaging in different activities inside the car, contrary to the solemn and contemplative mood captured in the original photo. The public's reaction to the original Photoshop controversy was mixed. Some individuals believed that the alterations made to the photo were minor and harmless, while others saw it as a breach of trust. The controversy sparked a wave of discussions and debates on social media platforms, with users dissecting the alleged editing errors and sharing their opinions on the matter. The public's uncertainty surrounding the monarchy only intensified as questions about authenticity and transparency lingered. In the midst of the controversy, experts weighed in on the photo, further fueling the public's curiosity. According to these experts, the Mother's Day photo had at least 16 editing errors, providing what they believe to be proof of Photoshop manipulation. As the investigation into the alleged manipulation continued, the silence from the monarchy only deepened the intrigue surrounding the controversy. The lack of a unified response from the royal family left many wondering about the true nature of the photo and the intentions behind its alterations. While the media frenzy continues, King Charles III finds himself in the midst of his own battle. The monarch is currently undergoing treatment for cancer, yet he remains informed about the latest developments surrounding the photo controversy. His majesty is being kept abreast of the situation, but he isn't too concerned. Despite his own health struggles, he understands that scandals and controversies are not uncommon in the royal family's history. Indeed, the royal family has weathered many storms throughout the years. From divorces to leaked tapes, they have faced their fair share of controversies. And while this current situation is unfortunate, there is a sense that it will eventually blow over. As the media frenzy continues, palace insiders express their disbelief at Kensington Palace's failure to catch the Photoshop errors before releasing the photo. Questions arise about the attention to detail and the lack of oversight in such a high-profile situation. Some staff members can't quite believe how badly this was handled. It's a shame that no one thought to thoroughly check the photo before it went out to the world. It's a lesson learned for the palace, that's for sure. But what makes this scandal even more jaw-dropping is the unexpected twist involving the Dutch king. The Dutch monarch couldn't resist poking fun at Middleton's photo scandal during a royal engagement in Zoot for Netherlands. As the king mingled with members of the public, a little girl approached him and asked about his family portrait. Engaging in a lighthearted conversation, the king seized the opportunity to make a cheeky remark. With a mischievous smile, he quipped, at least I didn't Photoshop it, alluding to Middleton's recent digital mishap. The crowd erupted into laughter at the king's Photoshop jibe, finding humor in the unexpected comment. Reactions. As the world buzzed with theories about Kate Middleton's health and whereabouts, comedian and television host John Oliver couldn't resist weighing in on the controversy. During a March 12th appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Oliver shared his thoughts on the matter. He said, I was out. I thought, let's all just ignore this. We've moved on. Until the Photoshop thing, Oliver began, referring to the photo controversies surrounding Kate. That feels like you're almost handling badly in an impressive way at this point. Oliver's comment immediately raised eyebrows. Was he suggesting that there was a deliberate mishandling of the situation. And what did he mean by the Photoshop thing? Andy Cohen, the host of the show, couldn't help but probe further. Isn't their motto, never complain, never explain? And then they have her explaining on Twitter, Cohen asked, referring to Kate's social media statement addressing the photo controversy. Oliver, never one to shy away from controversy himself, hit back with a conspiracy theory of his own. There is a non-zero chance she died 18 months ago, he speculated. They might be weekend at Berniesing in this situation. I'm not saying it happened, but I'm saying it's non-zero until proven otherwise. Until we see her sitting there with a copy of the day's paper. Could it be possible that Kate Middleton had passed away over a year ago and the royal family was orchestrating an elaborate cover-up? The theory seemed far-fetched, but Oliver's words left a lingering sense of doubt. Oliver's speculations were purely his own and lacked concrete evidence. However, his remarks ignited a firestorm of discussion and debate among fans and royal watchers alike. The idea that the royal family could be hiding such a 
shocking secret was both captivating and unsettling. When it comes to stirring the pot, late night talk show host Stephen Colbert is no stranger. During a segment on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, he dropped a bombshell about the royal family. Colbert wasted no time in addressing the ongoing Kate Middleton controversies, specifically the rumors surrounding her husband, Prince William. Colbert said, Internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. Colbert's next move was unexpected yet fitting for the occasion. He reached for a teacup, ready to spill the metaphorical tea on the alleged affair. I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say it with me, the Marchioness of Cholmondley, Colbert continued, referring to Sarah Rose Hanbury. The mention of Hanbury's name caused a stir. Rumors of an affair between Prince William and Hanbury had been circulating since 2019, but this was the first time a prominent figure like Colbert had openly discussed it. According to tabloids, when Kate supposedly confronted Prince William about the alleged affair, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Colbert couldn't resist a sarcastic comment, remarking, Aha, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. The possibility of infidelity within the royal family was a topic that had long fascinated the public. While Kensington Palace had never commented on the situation, the rumors persisted, and Colbert's comments only added fuel to the fire. When it comes to speaking her mind, Whoopi Goldberg doesn't hold back. As one of the co-hosts of The View, Goldberg had a lot to say about the ongoing controversies surrounding Kate Middleton. During a segment on the show, she addressed the photo editing controversy head-on, offering her unique perspective on the matter. It's our fault because we bought into this, Goldberg began, chastising her fellow co-hosts. She emphasized the importance of not getting caught up in baseless speculation and reminded everyone that it's not cute or fun when these rumors start affecting one's own family. Goldberg then delved into her theory about the photo editing controversy. I think Kate took a picture and said, ooh, his lips look wrong, her butt looks wrong, this looks wrong, let me fix it, she suggested. Goldberg believed that Kate had taken the controversial photo herself and edited it to control the narrative being put out by the palace. Goldberg's theory shed light on a different perspective. It suggested that Kate, like many individuals, wanted to present herself in the best possible light and took matters into her own hands. This is all speculation and we're having fun, Goldberg concluded, acknowledging that the discussion was purely based on theories and not concrete evidence. She wanted to remind everyone that they didn't have all the answers. Goldberg's comments sparked a debate among viewers. Some agreed with her theory, believing that Kate had the right to control her own image. Others questioned the authenticity of the photos and wondered if there was more to the story than met the eye. As the discussion surrounding Kate Middleton's controversies continued, Alyssa Farah Griffin, another co-host of The View, offered her insights into why the public is so invested in Kate's story. Griffin acknowledged the treatment of Princess Diana and the experiences of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, which have made people more sensitive to the stories surrounding the royal family. Not to make it heavy, but we know the treatment around Diana. We know what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry went through, Griffin began, addressing the historical context that has shaped public perception. She highlighted the intense scrutiny and media pressure that previous members of the royal family have faced, creating a heightened interest in Kate's story. Now you have a princess, a queen-in-waiting. That hasn't been seen, and the stories just don't pan out, Griffin continued, alluding to the mystery surrounding Kate's absence and the inconsistencies in the narratives put forth by the palace. Griffin then offered a suggestion on how the palace could resolve the controversy. She could resolve this. The palace could in two minutes by putting her direct to camera, she proposed. Griffin believed that a direct address from Kate herself would provide clarity and put an end to the speculation. By having Kate speak directly to the camera, the palace could dispel any doubts and provide a transparent account of the situation. Let's continue by diving deep into the biggest controversies that have surrounded Prince William and Kate Middleton throughout the years. From family drama to shocking rumors, their journey has been anything but ordinary. Controversies. In 2005, Prince Harry found himself at the center of a major controversy when he attended a Halloween party wearing a Nazi costume. The choice of outfits sparked outrage and criticism from the public and media alike. However, years later, Harry made a shocking claim in his memoir, Spare, alleging that it was actually his brother, Prince William, and sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, who had picked out the controversial costume for him. According to Harry's account, he had been struggling to find a suitable costume and had narrowed his options down to a British pilot's uniform and the sand-colored Nazi uniform. Seeking their opinion, he called William and Kate, who surprisingly suggested the Nazi uniform. Harry rented the outfit, complete with a swastika armband and a silly mustache, and returned to the house to try it on. To his surprise, both William and Kate found it amusing and howled with laughter. The revelation shocked the media as it raised questions about the judgment and sensitivity of the future king and queen consort.
consort. However, neither William nor Kate addressed Harry's claims at the time, leaving the controversy unresolved. This controversy not only highlighted the poor decision-making on Harry's part, but also shed light on the dynamics within the royal family. It showcased a side of William and Kate that the public had not seen before, raising doubts and concerns about their judgment and values. The controversy surrounding the choice of costume remains a significant part of the history of Prince William and Kate Middleton's relationship. Prince William and Kate Middleton's relationship faced a significant hurdle during their postgraduate years, causing a temporary split. While they had been dating throughout their time at the University of St. Andrews, it was during this period that their relationship faced its first major test. The press dubbed Kate Weighty Katie, mocking her for patiently waiting for William to propose. The couple's decision to take their time before getting engaged became a subject of scrutiny and speculation. However, in 2007, their relationship hit a rough patch, leading to a brief breakup. At the time, Kate admitted that she wasn't happy about the split, but she also acknowledged that it made her a stronger person. She reflected on the experience, stating that it allowed her to discover things about herself that she hadn't realized before. She also emphasized the importance of personal growth and valuing one's individuality within a relationship. Despite the breakup, William and Kate ultimately reconciled and found their way back to each other. This period of separation proved to be a turning point in their relationship, allowing them to reassess their priorities and strengthen their bond. Leading up to Prince Harry's wedding to Meghan Markle, rumors began to swirl about tension between Meghan and Kate. The media speculated that the two duchesses were at odds, and the controversy reached its peak when Meghan was accused of making Kate cry. According to the initial reports, tensions arose during a bridesmaid dress fitting for Princess Charlotte, where a disagreement between Meghan and Kate allegedly occurred. The narrative paints Meghan as the instigator, causing Kate emotional distress. However, in a surprising twist, Meghan later revealed in an interview that it was actually the other way around. In his memoir, Prince Harry shared a heartbreaking account of finding Meghan in tears on their wedding day. He described how he was horrified to see his wife so upset, but he didn't view it as a catastrophe. The next morning, Kate visited Meghan with flowers and a card, expressing her apologies for the incident. While Harry believed that Kate didn't intend to make Meghan cry, he speculated that the pressures of royal life and the constant comparisons between the two duchesses may have contributed to the tension. He suggested that Kate may have felt forced to compete with Meghan. The alleged feud between Meghan and Kate not only captivated the public's attention, but also highlighted the challenges that come with being part of the royal family. Prince William and Prince Harry also found themselves at odds in a highly publicized rift. The bond they shared since childhood seemed to dissipate when news broke in February 2019 that they had decided to separate their royal households formally. The rift between the brothers deepened when Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, made the decision to step down as senior royals in 2020 and relocate to California. This move further strained their relationship with William and his wife, Kate Middleton. In his memoir, Prince Harry provided a glimpse into the escalating tension between him and William. He claimed that during a physical altercation, William tore his necklace, revealing a level of frustration and anger that had been building up for years. Harry described a red mist that he had experienced for a long time, and he saw a similar anger in his brother during the altercation. Despite the intensity of the moment, Harry chose not to retaliate. The alleged physical altercation between the two princes shocked the public and raised questions about the state of their relationship. While Harry openly discussed the rift, William chose not to publicly address the alleged altercation, leaving the details and implications of the incident open to interpretation. In 2019, Prince William also found himself at the center of a scandal when he was accused of having an affair with Rose Hanbury. According to the report, when Kate Middleton supposedly confronted William about the affair, he laughed it off, claiming there was nothing to it. Despite the lack of concrete proof, the rumor quickly gained traction, capturing the attention of tabloids and royal watchers worldwide. The Daily Mail's royal reporter Richard Kay dismissed the allegations as fake news, stating that both sides had considered legal action but ultimately chose to ignore the rumors due to the absence of evidence. In his words, these hurtful rumors of a fallout are simply false. So who is Rose Hanbury? Rose is a former model and the current marchioness who resides in Norfolk, England, with her husband, film director David Rock Savage. In the British peer system, a marchioness is the title given to the wife of someone who ranks just below a duke. Rose's proximity to Kate and William's Anmer Hall country estate, as well as their shared social circles, led the British tabloid The Sun to dub her Kate's rural rival when things allegedly turned sour between them. But what exactly went wrong between Rose and Kate if it wasn't the affair rumor? In March 2019, The Sun reported that Kate was upset about a story claiming she had told William to have Rose phased out of their circle due to a falling out between the two women. However, the details of their alleged falling out 
account remain unknown, leaving room for speculation and further fueling the rumor. As the initial rumor circulated, the public's fascination with the alleged affair grew. People wanted answers, and they turned to various sources for information. One such source was the popular gossip account Du Moi, which received a tip claiming that a member of the British royal family was involved in an extramarital affair. The tipster alleged that the affair was an open secret, and that the reason behind it was the royal's love of pegging. This revelation led to the hashtag Prince of Pegging trending on Twitter. The internet immediately focused on Prince William as the potential subject of the affair. This focus could be attributed to the false rural rival affair rumor that had previously plagued him. As the rumors continued to swirl, the question of legal action arose. Richard Kay stated that no legal action was being pursued by the royals, but the Daily Beast claimed otherwise. According to the outlet, pressure was allegedly applied by the palace to have affair rumor claims removed from staff writer Giles Corrin's Twitter account. The Daily Beast also alleged that at least one British publication received legal warnings from the royal's lawyers regarding the publication of the rumors. The lawyer's letters emphasized that the rumors were false, highly damaging, and a breach of privacy. Despite the rumors and speculation, neither Kate nor Rose has publicly addressed the alleged falling out. Both women have chosen to maintain their privacy and dignity, refusing to engage in the tabloid frenzy surrounding their friendship. This silence has only fueled the rumor mill, leaving the public to draw their own conclusions about what may have transpired between them. Sources close to the couple dismissed the infidelity claims as mere hiccups in a long-term relationship. They emphasized that it was not unusual for couples to face challenges, and William and Kate were no different. Despite any ups and downs, their love for each other remained strong, with their children being the most important aspect of their lives. One of the most explosive controversies surrounding the royal family emerged during Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's bombshell interview in 2021. The couple made shocking allegations, claiming that two members of the royal family had expressed concerns about the potential skin tone of their son, Prince Archie, before his birth. While they did not explicitly name the individuals involved, rumors swirled that Kate Middleton was one of them. According to a Dutch version of royal expert Omid Scobie's book, Endgame, Kate was named as one of the relatives who allegedly inquired about Archie's skin tone. However, a source close to Kate vehemently denied these claims, stating that she had no involvement in such discussions. The source emphasized that Kate was saddened by being pulled into the controversy, as she had nothing to do with it. The racism accusation shocked the public and ignited a global conversation about race and discrimination within the royal family. It exposed the challenges faced by Meghan as a biracial woman entering an institution deeply rooted in tradition and history. The impact of these accusations on the royal family was significant, as it raised questions about the institution's commitment to diversity and inclusivity. It also highlighted the need for the monarchy to address and confront issues of racism within its ranks. Even the seemingly innocent act of sending out a holiday card became a source of controversy for Prince William and Kate Middleton. In December 2023, when the couple released their annual holiday card, rumors quickly spread that the image had been heavily edited. The speculation centered around the appearance of one of their children, Prince Louis. Observant fans noticed that one of Louis's fingers seemed to have been removed, while an extra leg appeared to have been added. The alleged editing mishap caused a stir among the public and embarrassment for the couple. Sources close to William and Kate revealed that they were indeed embarrassed by the crowd's reaction to the edited photo. While the exact details of the editing mishap remain unknown, many argued that they should have learned their lessons and avoided this current controversy. If you enjoyed this video, click on the card showing on your screen right now for more videos.